Welcome back to the Lakeside Productions YouTube channel. For anybody new to my channel, I'm repairing a 1940 40 foot seaplane tender, which is constructed of double diagonal mahogany hull planking and oak ribs. My aim is to turn it back into a functional liveaboard, which it once was converted to after the war. Starting back repairing the wheelhouse cabin roof sides, I'm removing any rotten wood and filling with epoxy, using the blowtorch then to remove any moisture that might be remaining within the wood, wetting out with unthickened epoxy first, and then coming back with the low density filler and putting that in place. I'm not too worried about how rough the finish is here because what I'd like to do is leave it a bit thick, then I would like, and uh, this way, I can come back and I can sand it down nice and evenly rather than have to you know come back once or twice and fairing it again and having those revisions of fairing it because you know of course you gotta wait any longer for the curing times. Applying the neat epoxy is a great trick also just in ensuring that there's some epoxy that will penetrate the actual timber and you just get a better bond when then you can follow up with applying it with thickened epoxy. I'm using the blowtorch to help kick off the epoxy and allow it to cure faster because you know we're working now where, where it's late in the evening or it's night time so there's going to be a lot of moisture and to eliminate that is to use the, the blowtorch or use some sort of heat to help kick off the epoxy allowing it to cure faster and less chances of it absorbing more moisture. So it's pretty much the same technique here for the starboard side of the roof kind of cabin trim. I cut out any rot and I made sure to use the, with the thickened epoxy, I went with the microfibers and this just guaranteed a much more stronger bond. You know, you use this stuff for structural kind of, uh, any laminating really, if you're laminating up uh, sheets of ply or wood, it's very strong stuff. So. This is gonna work well here, and then I'll come back and follow up with the low density filler, and that way I get a much smoother finish. You fair it nice and easily with that low density filler, uh, which you wouldn't really be able to achieve so much with the microfibers. So 
So next up, I move to the cabin sides where they meet the deck. And I use the reefing hook here to remove any old Sikaflex. I found it quite challenging to remove cold Sikaflex with, you know, the drop in temperature. So I use this heat gun for the first time. It's fantastic. You can go as low as 50 degrees Celsius, right up as far as 600 degrees Celsius, I believe. It also has a blower on it as a fan. You can change the speed of the fan or the intensity of the fan, which of course would then um, intensify the heat. And it's just fantastic. You know, it's incredibly hot, of course. And I just found it made quick work. It made easy work of this job. It heated up the Sikaflex, and that way I was able to use the briefing hook and just remove that nice and easily. So this is going to come in really, really handy for removing any varnish, epoxy, in spots where I need to, you know, redo varnish work. And that's going to be fantastic. So definitely pick up one of these heat guns if you can, guys. And uh, it's much safer, of course, than using the blowtorch. So I went all in and invested in the 6kg pack of West System Epoxy. So this is going to keep me going for a long time, it's going to keep me busy, and it's going to get a lot of jobs done that I need to do with sealing the cabin sides right up as far as the, the bow, and that's going to work great. And then we can move on to epoxy and fiberglass. So I found this bit of rod here and what it was is because as these planks, it, I wouldn't mind but everywhere else where the roof planks are are secured, they're all done with, um, you know, no, there's no iron sickness that I can see apart from a few spots and one of them is here. So obviously stainless steel wasn't used, brass wasn't used. So the screws rusted, moisture obviously got inside, the rust expanded and it just continued to get worse and that wood then started to rot in place here so of course all i can do is remove it can't do anything about the screws unfortunately for the, at this time and um, especially seeing as i've done all the epoxy work as well fiber dust work so for now remove it fill it in with epoxy fair it sand it and uh, it'll last a couple of years and then in the future I can do it, replace the planks. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I now have a full-time filmmaking job so I am burning the midnight oil in the nights and putting in two and three hours into the boat whenever the weather permits and grants me permission to work on the boat. So um, yes, working at battling the elements and then on the Sunday, I have a full day free. So if the weather's good, I'm putting in the Sundays, just tipping away, getting a bit of work done. You know, if we do a small bit every day, that's it. We're getting closer to our goals. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I do have a PayPal link in the description below if you feel like supporting my project there. And I also have affiliate links as well. So, you know, that will contribute to more work on the boat and allowing me to buy essential tools and equipment. So that's it, guys. Stay productive and have fun creating. I will see you in the next episode.